So one of the most anticipated games right now is Starfield from Bethesda Game Studios. Because Microsoft bought ZeniMax and Bethesda, this is going to come out as an Xbox exclusive. And uh, while the reception surrounding it is generally mostly positive, you can see from the likes to dislikes ratio, there is a bit of contention surrounding it because many people feel like there are aspects of the gameplay that we've seen that does look dated, where graphics and animation and aspects of combat are concerned. But at the same time, this looks like a massive game. We've seen very little of it. And the world building, the quest, the main storyline, the freedom for players to do what they want and have an influence in the world. All that stuff is usually what makes Bethesda games Bethesda games. Uh, they usually don't tend to have the best graphics ever or the best gameplay ever. It tends to be about like losing yourself in their world. And on that front, I hope they'll be able to deliver. And hopefully the aspects that do look dated or it's a little late to the race because other games like No Man's Sky might have pulled something similar won't ultimately detract from the experience and will be good enough where uh, we'll be able to lose ourselves in the world and just have a really great time. I'm rooting for this game. It's not hyping me up on the level that Skyrim or Fallout 4 did prior to their launches, but it is a Bethesda game. I still think of them fondly. They're single-player titles, that is, and, um, you know, I, I wish them the best. Now, it would seem as it will be waiting a little longer than anticipated because Starfield has been delayed yet again. You may recall that back in June 2021, during E3 2021, the following teaser trailer was released for Starfield that not only gave us a first glimpse at the game, but also announced the release date of November 11th, 2022. Had that release state been maintained the game would have been out four months ago but it would seem as though that was a very optimistic release date as it wasn't long after on may 12 2022 that bethesda would announce that they're gonna have to delay the game we have made the decision to delay the launches of redfall and starfield to the first half of 2023 so we didn't get an exact new release date for starfield we were just told the window would be from january to june 2023 somewhere between then which brings us to today's news, we're learning now that even that release window was overly optimistic as Starfield has been delayed yet again to beyond the first half of 2023, as confirmed here by the official Starfield Twitter page and this video titled Starfield Official Launch Date Announcement, which is two minutes and 40 seconds long. I'll go ahead and show you guys the trailer, which shows some new footage of the game, and then uh, it'll reveal the release date proper, September of 2023. So here it is. Constellation Star Station LO868. Welcome aboard. The eye is showing signs over another one of those big anomalies. Maybe you catch a smile and uncover the source of it all. And there it is, September 6th, 2023. I've got to say, that little teaser there, some really cool visual motifs that makes me more curious about what the main story of Starfield is, what its overarching mystery is, and what the supernatural elements are that clearly will be at the forefront of the mystery surrounding this campaign. I'm almost getting like interstellar vibes with some of the visuals and distortions that are happening in space time seemingly or whatever the hell this is. I don't know, whatever it is, it looks awesome. It almost looks uh, Kubrick-esque and hopefully the cool visual motifs also translate to interesting narratives that will keep me hooked to this world, to this universe, and hopefully it'll be a campaign that will be worth remembering alongside i'm sure you know the myriad side quests and side story threads that will uh just give us more information about the world but also hopefully will keep us invested in just exploring this particular universe now the trailer does continue with todd howard speaking to us about what's going on behind the scenes and what we can expect in the coming few months 
Hey everyone, from myself and everybody here at Bethesda, we are so excited to... You can see right here some gameplay in the background, so if you want to keep an eye out on that, if you want to get some details from that, you know, take a look. ...finally tell you when Starfield is coming out this year. You know, we have poured ourselves into this game, and even I'm surprised how much we can pour. It is large. Very curious about just how much of this landscape will be compelling to explore. A lot of it does look a bit barren, but maybe this is one of those, you know, thousand procedurally generated planets that will likely not be as handcrafted and meticulously designed as the core planets that they'll uh, be placing more emphasis on when it comes to the main campaign and the side quests. It does look like a cool planet and all, but hopefully I won't just be constantly walking across an empty world and there will always be something to draw my attention and keep me engaged. But you know, we'll see. Only time will tell and I'd have to get my hands on the game to say for sure. Uh, we're playing the game all the time. Shout out over here to lead producer Tim Lamb. Old school fans, you may remember him from the Oblivion making of video where he's sitting on a similar sofa doing similar things. But also, uh, this June, we're going to bring you into the studio and give you a deep dive in the game at our Starfield Direct. So for those who want to tune in for more Starfield information, more Starfield gameplay footage, June 11th, 2023, what would be around E3 time, this is when we're essentially going to get a major blowout for this game that so far the PR surrounding it, the optics surrounding it, haven't been the most positive. I, I think Bethesda would like to just impress the people looking forward to this game a bit more, and hopefully they'll achieve that with this Direct. There's so much that we still have to show you. The game has many of the hallmarks that you'd expect from us, but it's also a very unique experience. Okay, that shot right there looks pretty cool. I love some of the structures that I'm seeing here. Hopefully, if they maintain this level of wonder as we explore the world, it'll you know keep us drawn in and keep us motivated to keep exploring. Unique experience. And again, some cool thank landscapes, you all, definitely. Uh, for all some your combat back about here. The game, your support, your comments. We really do uh, read it all. And look, we know you've waited a long time to play something new from us. You know, believe it or not, we're kind of the same. Uh, we miss it. And we really just can't wait for you all to play it. Some cool creatures. So thanks. And we'll see you soon. So this shot back here gave me No Man's Sky vibes, just how colorful this particular planet is. Some of the creatures that we're seeing in the yeah. background. And then beyond that, we have a glimpse right here of the inventory system. This guy right here is going through a bunch of helmets. We've got some stats here that no doubt people who are really looking forward to this title will break down and tell you exactly what's being listed here. But some interesting uh, designs for your spacesuit. Play it. Visually varied and hopefully that you know cosmetic customization will be something that uh, will be engrossed in because of all the different cool combinations of armor and equipment. And then here's one last bit of gameplay. But yeah, that's it. September 6, 2023. That's a delay of roughly 10 months from the original November 11th, 2022 release date. Now look, I for one am all for delays if it ultimately means we'll get a more refined and more polished game release. And that goes doubly true for Bethesda Game Studios titles. Those are notorious for how technically shoddily they launch, as fun as they are. Nobody will deny that Bethesda games feel like they're taped together at launch. And even post-launch, it feels like a lot of the modders have to fix these games. So if this extra 10 months just allows them to release the most technically refined Bethesda Game Studios game to date, I'm all for it. I'm just hoping that this isn't indicative of, you know, trouble development behind the scenes or anything like that. But if this is the time that they need to make it the best game possible at launch, I say go for it, let them take all the time they need, and with this being such a major release for Xbox and it being a major Xbox exclusive, you know, a lot is riding on this release for Xbox to draw in players to the Xbox consoles and platforms like Game Pass, which is where they're putting a lot of their uh, focus on. Hopefully, it'll surpass my expectations, which currently are lower than the usual Bethesda Game Studios hype train, if you will. 
Uh, I was really excited throughout Skyrim's marketing, throughout Fallout 4's marketing. Starfield is... I'll have to wait and see more. It's not quite fully jiving with me yet. Games have gotten so much better since the Skyrim and Fallout 4 days. And technologically, I feel like there are aspects to what Starfield has shown that feels like it's falling behind a little. But there are a lot of cool things, a lot of cool customization elements, a lot of cool crafting, you know, making your own ship and all these things. Combined with a sense of freedom and a sense of immersion from just how much there is to do and how much the world is fleshed out and all these things. There's still plenty of time before the games launch. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing more, honestly, especially with uh, some of the cool things that were glimpsed at in this particular trailer. But only time will tell how all of this will turn out. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on the delay to September 6, 2023, and the glimpses of footage from the game that we've seen in this 2 minutes and 40 seconds trailer. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Young Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Young out.